Hello. Today we're going to be doing a training session on how to use Keystroke Point of Sale System to synchronize your inventory and pricing. So let's jump right into it. First thing we want to do is log in to the back of our website into our shopping cart component and what we want to do is update our CSV import export settings in the configuration tab here. We want to make sure that we have these four fields in this order. So product SKU, product name, product in stock, product price. And they should be field order 1, 2, 3, and 4. Um, if you don't have those set up, go ahead and configure those at this point. Next thing we want to do, just a little housekeeping here, under product drop down, we want to go to the backup tab. Always a good idea to do a backup. Just click backup, override existing. That gives us a backup from today's date where we have our database of our web products backed up on the server. Now we'll go back to our CSV import and we are ready to import our new prices from Keystone. Now let's jump over to Keystroke and we're going to go ahead and log in here. And we want to export a report from the report manager. So we jump to report manager. We're going to an inventory database report. Click on that. Now here's a few settings. You should already have these set, but we want to make sure we're printing the alternate codes. And we want to also print an inventory record with all um, ranges included. We'll hit OK here. Um, we also want to print to a file, so let's just check a couple items here. It should be price list with product code, code is our report form, and print to file. Make sure that's set. You can set your file name and location here. So we'll go under file name and say I want to print to, let's just say under my computer, let's just say desktop. And I'll make a new folder right now called temp CSV. And we'll just call this POS inventory.csv there. Um, your save as type is defaulted out, so we'll leave it like that. Save and OK. You can check your delimited information also. It should be quote and comma is what you want here. So we'll hit OK. And in my keystroke version here, I have to, the OK doesn't always work, so we'll just close the window out here once we've set our settings. Uh, once we've done that, we're ready to export a report. We do that by clicking OK here. System runs through and exports its report. Now we've got a little bug in uh, my system here. I think it's something to do with this version of Keystroke. Um, but in any case, let's see. Where is that data? Didn't seem to be saved where I set it, so we'll go to let's see if it's under desktop. Here it is under desktop. Um, you may need to check your desktop or your My Documents for that folder. It didn't seem to always catch um, where you tell it to save. And there's another thing. Let me just drag this to our temp CSV so we can look at it by itself. It doesn't hold the um, file type formatting correctly. So the first thing we'll need to do is rename this to a .csv. I've had one I was working on it where it um, kept the two characters. So it would be a file name .cs, but it dropped the V. Um, in that case, we'll also need to rename it. Okay, we're going to open this up real quickly to look at it. Open it up in Excel. You may need to choose Excel if it's CSV is not set up as your default, um, or Excel is not set up as your default reader for CSV. But in any case, I'm going to show these columns here. You notice here's our um, default item numbering from um, Keystroke. We actually need to get rid of that, so we're going to click on the header, right-click on it, and then delete that column. That'll just give us our alternate codes here, the product name, inventory and pricing. So we'll save that. CSV, a couple of alerts come up saying you can't save a full worksheet as a CSV and this that's okay with us. And now we're ready to jump over into our website again where we're still at the CSV import here and we're going to import that file. So we set our delimiters. 
quotation and comma for a typical CSV file from Excel. And we want to do an update existing products. That'll keep us from creating new products on the fly. Click Show More Options here. And we're going to we're going to use um, we're going to turn off Use Column Headers as configuration. We already have it configured from our configuration settings here. That's what we want to use. We want to leave the rest of these settings as are. So we'll browse to select our file. So let's go to our temp CSV, the OS inventory. I double click that to open it into the file path here. And then we'll click Submit CSV. System will go through and give us a quick preview of the five files. and says, OK, I want to make sure my SKU, name, stock, and price are in the right order, though everything looks to be correct. So I'll continue my upload. And I'll get a report. In this case, we just had five items in that database. We updated four. One, this SKU number here, wasn't in my website. So the cart system skips right over that and it lets me know about it. There you go. And we've updated our data, our pricing, and our inventory from Keystroke. If you have any questions, be sure to, sure to contact your STN project director, and we'll be glad to help you on anything. Thank you, and have a great day.